You're here because packing for long-term travel can be overwhelming when you're not used to it. Lori and I here have you covered because between the two of us, we have 24 years experience traveling six months per year. We're gonna share with you today how we pack for that. You don't want fancy dancy intros. You wanna get right to the meat of the video. Well, we got you covered and we're gonna give you the filet mignon right out of the gate. And that is our number one tippity top bestest packing tip you're probably taking too many clothes. We are the first people to tell you that we're guilty of this. We've been traveling combined for 24 years now, and when we started, we brought everything in the kitchen sink. And believe it or not, this is pared down. We're gonna show you what we pack today for long-term travel, and this actually covers, Ecuador is a good country to give an explanation because you gotta pack for rain, and you gotta pack for beach if you're gonna hit both of those locations, which we wanted to this year. So we've got everything from toques down to flip-flops, right? We'll put some handy links in our description below so you can find these items quickly. I brought two pairs of long pants, one workout, thin workout legging, two pairs of shorts because I'm wearing a pair, <laughs> two pairs of shorts, one poncho, it's so appropriate for Ecuador, right? Mm -hmm. One light, lightweight sweater, two short dresses and one long dress. And then underwear, we packed for about a two week span because I know I'm gonna be washing a variety of clothes on the road at some point. So you don't need to pack six months worth of underwear. You just need enough for like 14, 10, 14 days. Plus if you're on the beach vacation, you're in your bathing suit a lot. You typically don't need to wear underwear, but. Hey, if you're getting value from this video, now's a great time to press that like button. I have workout tops and, and bralettes and underwear. I have several pairs of socks for either hiking or working out. Then I have a throw, and this is like a full body wrap. It can either be a beach throw if you don't have a towel, or it could just be a, a towel for after a shower. Uh, it can be a wrap, it can be a dress. It's multi-purpose, you tie it a bunch of different ways. Super versatile. Then I have two t-shirts, four tank tops, two long, uh, and three long sleeve tops for some heat. Mm. Oh, and my rain jacket, it's a, uh, this one happens to be bench brand. I bought it because it was super thin. It rolls up to even smaller than this and it's uh, waterproof and lightweight and awesome. Okay, well, I'll just pick up where Lori left off and that is my rain jacket. My rain jacket is super cheap. It was a few dollars, but it does the job and it's come in handy a few times in the mountains of Ecuador. This item will probably show up in the bonus section, so stick around till the end because we're gonna talk about things that we would like to upgrade or add to our packing kit that we don't yet have. So that's gonna be a fun part for you. My shirts will include one, two, three, four, five t-shirts, plus this one I've got on, one tank top, two tank tops, uh, one long sleeve fleece kind of throw over, almost a sweater type deal. These two Columbia shirts deserve special mention because they're super versatile. They provide, um, really good protection from the UV. They're actually made for fishing. So they're long sleeve, they're lightweight. Mm -hmm. On top of that, they're basically wrinkle free. So they can be scrunched up in your luggage. You can throw it on if you're going out to let's say a, uh, a dinner or a nice night out. These are very versatile shirts. I'll provide links for you guys for these. You're gonna love these. Actually, they make them for ladies too. So they, they'll have something for everyone. Okay, so my pants, I've got four sets of pants. Uh, which I don't wear a lot right now because we're uh, on the coast of Ecuador and it's super hot here But when we were in the mountains, I was wearing them often and when we go back to the mountains here shortly I'll be wearing them again one set of jeans one set of sort of canvas windbreaker type pants I think these are uh, the North Face um, So you'll be familiar with them These pants here are like a like a tight leg stretchy workout pant and then these last Pants are also a windbreaker type super lightweight dry fast, don't wrinkle. I've got two pairs of shorts, kind of like longer canvas type shorts. I've got an impossibly small pair of swim trunks that I wear that are unforgiving. I have um, a full covered swim shirt that we use in the ocean because we're body surfing like four or five days a week. It's our main activity. Lori's got one of those too. We both wear those in the ocean. We can recommend them for protection. I've got four pairs of socks in total, one sort of ankle cut and one traditional cut. I've got five sets of underwear. Like I said before, when we live on the beach, I feel like I'm in the military, I go commando so often. So I don't wear them a lot here on the beach, but when we're up in the mountains, I wear them regularly. 
And then also for the mountains, I've got a special item that I've been using quite a bit this year. And this is a puffy vest that I pretty much wore every day all day in Mindo. This is just an older one that I bought off a friend 30 years ago for $20. We're going to again talk about the puffy jackets that we're going to have and or want in our special bonus section at the end. With the exception of a few items you see on this table here, most of this stuff is well used and or thrifted items. We haven't been investing a lot of money in our wardrobe. On certain items, yes, we have, and we will continue to upgrade some of the specialty items. Mm -hmm. But most of the stuff, this is a pretty inexpensive wardrobe you're looking at. Yeah. Like we said before, over the years, we've pared down what we pack for clothes. You're looking at an absolutely jam-packed table here, so some of you might be thinking, ah, eh, they still have a problem. <laughs> but this is actually pretty pared down and we use most of this stuff and we'll continue to try to do better. In a lot of packing videos, people talk about buying your blacks, your whites, your grays, and making sure everything mixes and matches better. But for us, we're again, we're traveling long term. We don't really think about it. We know that at some point we can buy another pair of shorts on the road or another t-shirt. So for me, you see a lot of color and pattern because I just kind of like to be a little, a little brighter that way. One other thing we want to mention is the clothes on our body. I touched on it earlier with my pair of shorts here. But of course we pack um, at the, an extra tank top and Air's wearing a little pair of throw on workout shorts that he'll talk about too. They're not on the table, they're on our body. Yeah, since we're in the show and tell phase, these shorts, you gotta see these guys because they're super lightweight. I wear these when we're on the coast, it's like plus 30 every day. They're awesome. He, you can hand wash them in the sink, hang to dry in, in an hour or so. Which I do fairly often. And uh, so I recommend you pick up yourself a pair of shorts like this, they don't wrinkle. They weigh nothing, they're super cool to wear. We encourage you to watch this video next.